All right, welcome to lesson 2.4.2, day one. So today we're gonna do some area and perimeter of not triangles, triangles will be next time, but rectangles on the coordinate plane. So just so you remember, um, a rectangle, when you calculate the area, it's base times height. And then if you're calculating the area of a square, it's just the base squared. Because this is base times height, but remember the base and the height are exactly the same. So it's just base times base, which is base squared, since the height and the base are exactly the same. Okay, and then when you're doing a perimeter, you're literally just adding up all the sides. So in this case, for a rectangle, there are two pairs of equal sides. So like the base on the bottom is the same as the length of the line on the top. So that's why it's 2B plus 2H, H being the height. And remember the height on the left side is the same thing as the height on the right side. So that's why it's uh, 2H. So when you add up all four sides, it simplifies to two times the base plus two times the height. Let's also take a look at perimeter of a square. So remember in a square, all four sides are exactly the same. So it's four times the side length, so four times base. Okay, so now that we got that part, let's join, or not join, <laughs> let's do part A. So part A says, translate each given rectangle or square such that one vertex of the image is located at the origin and label the vertices of the image. Calculate the perimeter and area of the image. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So for rectangle ABCD, which is over here, we're gonna move one uh, vertex to the origin. So I'm just going to move everything down that way. So we're moving it down two down and two left. So I'm going to move every single point two down and two left. So that's going to bring B here and I'm going to label that as B prime. So literally B with a mark like a single print, a single quotation mark over here. You call that B prime. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the point A. So I'm going to go two down and two right. So this is my new A. And my new A, I call it A prime. Remember, A with a tick mark next to it for a single quotation, that is A prime. Do the same thing for D. So two down, two right, and it ends up there, D prime. And same thing for C, two down, two left, C prime. Sorry if I was saying two right, I actually mean two down and two left, because we all want to move everything down and to the left. And then let's connect it. Okay, so here is my new rectangle. And the reason we bring it down to the origin is so that it's a little bit easier to count the squares. So you can see that the length of this is two and the length of that is three and two and three. So when you're calculating the area, it's just base times height. So our base is three. Wait, actually, let me write it out. Area is equal to base times height. So area is equal to the base, which is three, literally this side length, times the height, which is two, literally this side length. So the area is six. Okay, and then when we're calculating the perimeter, let's see, perimeter of a rectangle is two base time or plus two height. Notice I am using the formulas for rectangles because this is a rectangle, because two and three are different lengths, so this is a rectangle. So 2b plus 2h. So two times the base, remember base is three, plus two times the height, remember the height is two. So two times three is six, two times two is four, six plus four is 10. So your perimeter is 10. And you could have achieved the same thing as literally adding up all four sides. So like two plus two plus three plus three. So this is the same exact thing, but either way, it gets you um, 10 as your final answer because you could follow the formula or you could literally just add up all four sides because that's how you calculate a perimeter. Okay, so I want you to try uh, number two on your own. 
and then we will see how you uh, how you did. Oh, and I guess just so that we can make sure we're all doing it the same way, you can move. Oops, sorry. You can move W to the origin just because it's the closest. So move that every single point down two and three to the right. Okay, so now that you're unpaused, let's see how you did. If you moved everything down two and three to the right, here's your W prime. And then down two, three to the right, this is your Z prime. Down two, three to the right, this is your X prime. Down two, three to the right, this is your Y prime. So here is your new quadrilateral. Okay, and then you can see that this side length is 50. We're not counting squares, but you can see it's literally labeled 50. So it's 50 long. This one's also 50. And so since we have these two sides that are next to each other and they are both 50, we know that this one is 50 and this one is 50, and therefore we have a square. So area of a square, A is equal to B squared. Area is equal to base squared. So our base is 50, and when we square it, we get 2500. Your final answer for the area should be 2500. Now taking a look at the perimeter, you can literally add up 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50, which would give you the same answer as if you had just followed the formula. P is equal to four times B. P is equal to four times B. So four times 50, and that gives us 200. So your perimeter is 200. All right, that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.